Okay everyone, hey it's John here again and what we're going to do in this video is go over some items that we've sold in the recent past. Uh, pretty interesting, a lot of things. I think, you know, some things maybe you're familiar with, some things you look for and perhaps some things you hadn't thought about looking for yet. So check it out. Okay, so we're going to start off showing you some items we put up at auction and we do that when we can't really establish a value or we think we have a really neat thing that we're going to get a lot of bids on. Unfortunately, as you can see, this was not one of those items. We paid too much for this. I think we paid $50, you know, thinking it was good because it was limited, it was signed, blah, blah, blah. And it was, it was a mistake. So you get those now and then. But anyway, we got most of our money back. This next item. Now this is something, you, you know, you see we sell a lot of baseballs, but this baseball, I believe, was from the 1960s or 70s, and you can easily date them by who the league president was at the time. I forget exactly when this was. But you can see we got $34.33 for a baseball. We have seen some in the two and three hundred dollar range so something to keep an eye open for and do a little research when you when you find something that looks like it's got some age to it this was really kind of a nice item we picked this up i think for five dollars at a church yard sale and we knew wagner sydney was selling 100 plus or minus so yeah we got six bids on this and it sold for 112 so we we're pretty happy with that Here's another item we paid up for. I think we paid $50 for this. It's a World War I 1915 military compass made in Switzerland. You can, as you can see, we got four bids. We probably started it at 50 or 75. I don't remember exactly. Now this one was a surprise even to us. This pan was a little beat up. It wasn't in the best of shape, but it was a rare Wapak Hollowware skillet. As you can see, we got $306 for it. So this is the type of pan that once people do the restoration, they're in the five to $700 range. So another thing to keep an eye open for is some of these old cast iron pans. Another thing, this is a used, one single used cassette tape. Probably the best one ever made. And if you can find these particular ones sealed, they sell for 100 plus or minus a piece. This was recorded. I think we started it maybe $9.95 and got, you know, $35 for it. So, you know, some of those vintage cassette tapes, this one in particular, can be pretty valuable. We sell a lot of them. Another thing we picked up for a dollar or so, a bunch of patches. Any type of military, these aren't quite military, they're Civil Air Patrol. But any type of military patches or that you come by that you can buy cheap in a lot is usually worth a, usually worth a gamble. I think, we you know, we paid a dollar or two for these. Here's an item that... You know, you, you may never see one, and I've only had maybe three in my life of being a book dealer. And this is a 1907 guide to hiking in the White Mountains. It's put out by the Appalachian Mountain Club, and it was the first edition of their guidebook series, which is extremely collectible. And this is the first edition with both maps, which is quite scarce. And this is about as high as I've ever seen one go for. We've seen them in the $1,200 and $1,500 range, but... I figured, what the heck, hadn't been one out in a long time. It was published in 1907, so I thought, what the heck. Let's start it at 1907 and see what happens. We got a bid at the very last minute. Uh, you can check out the live action on this video. I'll put a link up to it. Oh, by the way, I paid $600 for this book knowing what it was, and the person I bought it from also knew he had a pretty good item, and he was willing to give it to me for $600, and I, I was happy to pay that much for it. All right, next category that we sell a lot in are CDs, DVDs, vinyl. Whenever we're in thrift stores, we always look for sealed stuff. And this one we found sealed a dollar and sold for $18.88. The Beatles are pretty popular and, and their stuff sells well, especially sealed things. These came in a free lot. I got about 200 CDs for free and a lot of them just went into lots. A lot of them went back to the flea market. And we did the research on it and found that this Esteban Salas was pretty popular and selling well. So we put those up and we got $28.88 for them. Almond Brothers, anytime you can find a lot of a popular band, certainly better, you know, to put up three or four or five or even eight 
or whatever you can do rather than just one at a time you can get your price up there and make it worth the listing of course we sold this be a send an offer option and we'll talk more about that in another video people who have looked at your item or who are watching it or or who have had it in their cart there's a place on eBay where you can go and see who those people are and you can send them an offer and this had been up for a while so I just sent a half price offer and they took it same with this one these have been up for a long time like I said these were part of the ones that I got for free and this was a lot that had been lingering for a bit and someone looked at it so I just sent them an offer didn't cost me anything for the inventory so it was good same with this one that came from the same lot of free we look for good non-fiction stuff this is a software or a flight simulator software kind of outdated so we couldn't get too too much for it but uh, 948 we got for that so here's where I'm talking about selling things in lots now these were not selling for very much individually but to put all five Bob hopes together you know we got $15 and we are upping the ante and we're starting to sell less and less things that are less than $25 but this is something that had been in in inventory in a while and, and it sold so you can see the value of lotting because who wants to sell five three dollar items when you can sell five items for 15 you know it's it's simple this is another DVD book lot the secret Ron to burn is very very popular for a while and, and we found a lot of stuff at a yard sale probably 50 cents a piece and just put it together in a lot took an offer of $20 on it I remember buying these we paid five dollars for them at a yard sale and I really yeah anyway I really offered them for that less I guess I was really must have been real tired of looking at them but anyway we got nineteen dollars for them plus 685 shipping when I bought them research said that 4950 was definitely the right price but it just didn't happen and get tired of looking at them and after a while just send an offer and move on to the next thing all right now we've got some vintage collectibles general just a mishmash of stuff this is a terrible towel uh, Pittsburgh original NFL Steelers if you know at all what they do with these you know that almost everybody in the stand needs to have one so we sold that for 1088 we bought a bunch of these at a estate sale Camp of the Woods mugs we bought five or six of them for three dollars a piece and well we sold one for 1288 I thought they were going to go for a lot more because they're really high quality mugs but we haven't been able to get more than 1288 out of them but we did get the shipping so we, I mean we did make a little money on those but again like I said we're, we're starting to move away from low-end items like that just a bunch of you know concrete anchors pick these up for a couple of dollars new old stock useful stuff I love that and yeah we got these for a couple of dollars we sold them for 30 the free shipping they went in a small flat rate so it cost us about eight dollars compact keyboard new in box I don't remember if we bought this for ourselves and didn't use it I can't remember where it came from but we sold that for $24.95 complete vision board kit this was I believe brand new and this was a person that was associated with the secret John Asaroff so we knew it when we saw it and they were selling for around $20 plus or minus so we listed it at $19.88 and we got a taker new old stock these are 1970 Kodak film developing liquids enough to make two gallons and I got those for a dollar a piece at the flea market and sold them for 1970 notice 1970 was the date so I just priced them at 1970 there were none out there and they they got bought pretty quickly nice old brass lock if it hadn't been painted by somebody or if it was in better shape it was more like a 35 or 40 dollar lock um, we added it at 28 someone made an offer of 18 and since it probably came in a box of something we didn't pay anything for off it went mr. peanut baseball bat paid five dollars for that research said it should have sold in that 30 to 40 range it didn't so after a while I just sent an offer for a half price offer and, and somebody took it plus shipping so we still made some money on that just not as much as I thought again books you know books more or less just cost us a dollar or less than that so this one I had at 75 again you know that's they are in the, they sell in the 50 or have sold in the 50 to 100 range or you know either on eBay or through bookfinder and someone offered 35 you know we took it probably I wouldn't have taken yeah I might have even taken an offer for 25 like I said we, we have thousands and thousands of books to sell so it's not that hard to find 
a, a thirty-five or forty-dollar book for a dollar. So we have plenty of them. This is a Randolph Mountain Club map that was a limited edition that they did as a fundraiser. Again, I had it listed for a long time. If you see, I said send offers because I've had it listed for so long. I'm tired of looking at it. Off it went. Somebody bought that. There's only 50 of them, and that was number three. I, I was the original owner. I bought it as part of the fundraiser for the Mountain Club, and just I never framed it, never used it, so I sold it. This racket appeared to be absolutely brand new, and and it was in the store for quite a while, and somebody made an offer of 28, which I felt was reasonable enough, considering they were paying shipping as well, so, so we let it go. Paid a dollar for that. Always looking at tennis rackets, because you never know. I mean, some tennis rackets are in the hundreds of dollars. So this little guy, this little hidden fishing lure, came out of a box of fishing gear that I bought for $35. It was a whole box full of stuff. I sold this one out of it for 75 and I sold another one out of there for 25 We brought the box to the flea market, and the last time around, we sold probably another $100 worth of stuff. $10 a piece, $5 a piece, so that was really, really good for 35 bucks. Sold this signed limited edition lithograph. You know, every now and then we see something like that, we do a quick look up on it, and, you know, if I had it at $4.95, it means that somewhere, somehow, they were selling for, you know, five or $600 or had sold or were being offered. But someone offered $200, you know, $200 in your pocket is better than a lithograph that you don't really like sitting on the shelf. So off it went. So clothing and gear. We buy clothes. Mostly we try to buy outdoor stuff and anything that's higher end or for the outdoor market. Mostly in excellent condition or brand new with tags. You can see this is a mint Carhartt jacket. And, you know, it's just something that people use all the time. We sold it at a reasonable price compared to retail. So that's the kind of, that's the kind of thing we like to sell in the clothing. I bought this not knowing the name. Now I know the name a little better. But just because of, of the color and the graphics on it. And, you know, it just was a neat looking jacket. I'm sure we picked it up for 2 or $3.00. Wouldn't have paid much more than that, and we sold it for 45 This was new with tags, a snowshoe backpack. So when you're out snowshoeing and you're not wearing the shoes or you're heading out to the trail, the snowshoes go in here. It was brand new, and we got $25 for that. Eastern Mountain Sports brand. I know the picture doesn't show a heck of a lot, but it's a very popular outdoor brand, and we didn't get a lot of money for it. We paid a dollar. But it's the kind of thing that, that sells well for us. This outdoor gear, well-known outdoor gear. We sell a lot of hats, of course, as you know if you've seen our videos. And this one sold for only $12.88, which is a little low. Again, we're going to try to start moving away from that. So these types of hats, you'll see us loading them up to go to the flea market going forward. If we, can only, if we can't get 15 or 20 or up, then they're probably just going to end up at the flea market. Very rugged motorcycle pants or work pants. He's got reinforced knees or Kevlar super heavy duty picked these up for a couple dollars at a yard sale and sold them for 40 if you ever see any of these wool pants the Malone Malone style are the ones with the red and the green checks Adirondack plaid wool pants Johnson Woolen Mills made them Timberland made them a bunch of different manufacturers made them they're great they're great sellers if you haven't had an eye for this kind of thing they, they sell very well for us. One thing you want to check for is to make sure they're clean. Cat hair and, and pet hair sticks to these things like crazy. And if it's not too bad, you can get it out. But it's one thing to look for because they, they, do, they do pick up hair. So keep, keep that in mind when you're looking at these things. Always buy sewn jerseys. Pretty much any team, any sport, as long as they're sewn. What I'm talking about is these numbers and the numbers and the patches are sewn on they're not printed and that's the difference between your twenty dollar and your hundred dollar ones so always buy those check condition of course okay north face is a great selling great outdoor very high-end outdoor well-known brand and these were boys pants it was a set where you had the outer shell and the inner liner pants as you can see we got 45 dollars for kids kids snow pants North Face is a good brand. You want to keep your eye open for that. If you're if you're looking for outdoor things, these are REI. 
Gore-Tex pants. You know, I think we're all familiar with the advantages of Gore-Tex outside. It's, it's waterproof and breathable. And these are good full side zip pants, are more versatile. That means that you can separate this whole entire side and step into it without removing your ski boots or your climbing boots or whatever you're doing. You don't have to undress to get these pants on. So the full side zip, again, gives you the difference between your, your $10 and $15 rain pants and your $35 and $50 mountaineering pants. Tactical uniform pants. These are Nomex. 3A, which means they're used for firefighting and they're relatively flame resistant. So the Nomex is a very good thing to look for in these tactical pants. Again, you see, we get a good price for these. These we picked up for a dollar or two and we sold them for 40. So what we're looking for in clothing is things that are very useful, things that are sports related. Now, this is not a sewn jersey. This is a printed jersey and I didn't even really know what it was when I bought it. I had to do a little research and found out it was the U.S. rugby team. And again, it didn't sell. So you can see I sent it off with a send offer for $14.44. So, I mean, a clear example of the difference between a printed jersey and a sewn jersey. The sewn jerseys sell for a lot more. <laughs> Here's a classic. This, I've actually used this. I, was, I did a lot of mountaineering in, in another life. And this is just a, a, you know, a face mask to keep your face from getting frostbitten in the wind. And I pulled that out of a drawer somewhere and I got $28.88 for it. They're not that common, really. And, and if you go to buy one in a mountaineering store, it's probably going to cost $75. Again, another pair of wool pants, Johnson Woolen Mills. These aren't the Adirondack style. These are just green wool pants. But they're clean. They're in excellent condition. And we pay... Up to ten dollars for these. These most of the time we get them for five and less. So these were five dollars, and we sold them for fifty. Again, look at this name here: Johnson Woolen Mills, thirty-eight eighty-eight. It's a, it's a good brand, good outdoor gear. These are black dot ski pants. I didn't know anything about them, but they had fully lined. There were snow cuffs. They had some features to them, and they were very clean. We get thirty-five dollars for those. And this is this was a total sleeper, and it, so I bought this spinnaker sale at a yard sale for three dollars. Not really knowing anything about sales, but I could see the bag that it was in was worth more than three dollars. It was a very well constructed bag, and I brought it home. Didn't know anything about it. Talked to some of my friends who were sailors. Did a little bit of research and realized. I got a three or four hundred dollar sale here. That was really, really cool. So anyway, as you can see, we sold it for three hundred dollars and I think I only had it listed oh for three or four days. I mean you can see the size of it. Here's our car right here. So twelve foot six by seventeen foot four. Is it, it's for a very specific boat, but knowing what type of sail it is, whether it's a symmetrical or asymmetrical, and then the sizing, which is grommet to grommet, the buyer that was looking for it found it. So and, and a friend of ours posted this listing to a sailing Facebook group that he belongs to. So I don't know where the sale, what, what, you know, where the sale came from, if it came from eBay or someone found it through his group. But anyway, we brought him a gift certificate to his favorite restaurant when uh, we, we saw him the next week. We were having dinner with him. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. We will have another one of these before too long. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. Give us a like, maybe a comment or two. And hit the bell and you'll be notified when we put up another video. Appreciate your time and watching my video. And hope you have a great day. Till next time. Bye.